Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up AutoCAD so you can start drawing right away. So let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing you guys are gonna to wanna to do when you open AutoCAD is you're gonna to wanna to come to your left hand bar right here and you're gonna see we have a few options. If we click the down arrow, you can create sheet sets, create templates, things like that. You don't need to worry about that. Just click new and open a brand new blank AutoCAD drawing. So once that's done, you've already won, you know, for maybe a quarter of the battle and you're almost ready to start drawing in the program. So what you're gonna to wanna to do now is set up your units. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to come down to this command bar down here. And this is a tip I give everyone. You're gonna to wanna to type in the command DYN mode. Once you see that the command pops up, press enter and it'll ask you to enter a new value for this command. Mine's set to three. I want you to set yours to three too. So you press three, you press enter, and now you have that command set. So what this allows you to do is you can just start typing commands in AutoCAD without having to go to the command bar or click things. So this is gonna be really helpful moving forward in this tutorial. Once that's done, we wanna type in units, go to our units bar, you can see what the command is, click enter. And we're gonna be brought to this dialog box. What this dialog box does is it allows us to set up our drawing units obviously in the program so you can switch it to what you need so if we come here to type you're going to see architectural decimal engineering you know click whatever you want i'm going to click architectural because we tend to do a lot of tutorials in that for the precision you can change that to what you need as well so we're going to keep ours at a 16th of an inch you can type se select your angles sorry you can select your your precision for that as well you can select the insertion scale so go select what works for you um depending on where you're located it'll be default millimeters or uh probably inches but for what I'm doing, it's default millimeters, and that's okay. I'm going to keep, well, actually, you know what? I'm going to switch mine to probably feet. And then that is how you would select your units. You can see there's some absolutely nuts uh, drawing units, like there's light years and stuff. But, I mean, we don't need to deal with that because nobody's making a house that's, you know, 20 light years long. So, anyways, uh, you know, we got our feet. You can switch your lighting as well. We're going to keep it international. Once that's done, we click OK. And it's going to say, for use with architectural or engineering linear units, insert units should be set to inches. Um, so I'm going to cancel that. I'm actually going to switch this to inches and you know, that just helps the program, you know, with that and you should switch it if you're going to do that. Once that's done, click OK and you're going to be able to start drawing. So that's the main way you set up AutoCAD for drawing. Now, if you want to actually start drawing, you can select your line tool up here. You can click where you want it to go. And then if you're going and you're, let's say, drawing it left to right, what you can do is you can now see that while we selected inches for our units, it's giving us feet in the architectural sense as well. Uh, and that's just the way the program works. So you can see here, I can type in and you can see the bar is set to 51 feet. I can type in 100 and I have to use the, you know, little symbols and things when you're using feet and inches. You have to specify what's feet. You have to specify what's inches when you're making that. So just make sure you are doing that correctly. But you can see here, I can just type in there and you can see that I've got 100. Once I have 100, I press tab and it's going to ask me for the angle. If I want the angle to be zero, I'm going to leave it as zero. If I want it to be 90, I can switch it to 90. If I click 90 and I press enter, it's going to switch it to 90. And you can see here, I now have a line that is 90 degrees from, from down there to up here. And you can see here that because I'm doing uh, the, the way I have the line working, it's just going to start getting me set on the next line as well. So if I type in 50, 50 feet, and then zero, it's gonna give me that line as well. And then I can go and I can actually round this off as well. Once that's done, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that once well, once you have that set, you're gonna to wanna to come down here and make sure your scale is selected to what you need it to be. So you can see here, I have mine set to one to one, but you have to use what's good for what you're working on. So again, for what I'm working on, I'm just gonna keep it one to one. So just make sure you have that as well when you're setting up your program so that your scale is proper to what you're trying to do. If you come here, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have your snaps, or sorry, your snaps are over here. You're gonna to wanna to have your snaps set correctly. So set your snaps to what would be useful for you. These are the ones I use on a regular basis. Uh, I think it would be beneficial if you copied what I have set right now, if you're gonna watch my tutorials, because this is what I have. And if you're having issues with the snaps, this is my setting. So pause the video, set your snaps, and then you can continue on. And then we can just get rid of that. Then you can come here, I'm gonna have my grid snap on and that's kind of the main things that you would want. Once that's done, if you come here, you can see we have our layouts. This is not too, too important when you want to start drawing, but um, if you come to your layouts, you can see we can, we can uh, set our sheet sizes and everything. But again, I've got a tutorial on that as well if you want to go check that out. Um, but uh, yeah, if you want to just set up drawing and, and all that, make sure that your units are set properly, make sure that your snap settings are set properly, and make sure that your scale is set properly. Because if those things are out of whack, 
nothing's going to work. And another thing to mention is don't draw on the zero layer. Go create a new layer. You know, we're going to call this layer one um, and, you know, make a different color or something. But uh, yeah, make sure that you're not drawing on layer zero if you're doing actual work because that's going to create problems. Uh, so yeah, again, go check out that layer video. So hopefully this was helpful, guys. Just a quick tutorial to get you guys through setting up AutoCAD. Um, again, go check out our other more in-depth tutorials if you want more information. So guys, take care, and we'll see you in the next one.